All right, cool. Morning. That's great. Huh? This? What's this? Oh, I don't know if that'll work or not. Let's see if Linux can do two things right in a day. Let's find out. Let's see. Oh, you have to save a monster on the side. On the side. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. All right. It's not yesterday's Linux. It's not yesterday's Linux. You'd be surprised how often I think it's yesterday's Linux. Um, morning. Morning. Good morning. This is uh, PDX PG Day 2014. Uh, actually, this is the exact same room that the original. First West, PostgreSQL Conference West in 2007 was held, which was kind of interesting. We've got a couple of people. You were there. Josh, you were there. David, you were there. Uh, I may have been there. You may have been there. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Uh, we've got a single day of talks that we'll get to talking about. For those who don't know who I am, I'm this one. That's about 6,500 feet uh, right off of uh, Mount Hood. That was my last winter trip. Uh, I'm at Linux Hiker on Twitter if you care. Uh, plus Josh or Drake Linux Hiker because Google Plus is obnoxious. Uh, Jay Drake at PostScale.org, lead consultant for Command Prompt Inc. I'm also the CEO, but I'll be stepping down from that role this year. Um, and I'm a director for Software in the Public Interest. Software in the Public Interest is the nonprofit for PostScale.org as a whole. Um, and I am a president, uh, at least currently, and director for United States PostgreSQL, which is the nonprofit for United States or for Postgres in the United States. PDX Pug is an affiliated user group of United States PostgreSQL, which means that they have nonprofit status. If you want to donate, you can go to PostgreSQL.us and donate. Our cert expired last week because we were all too busy to pay attention. Mark and I will have that fixed next week. <laughs> Uh, but it is, we are uh, up and running with that. Um, let's see here. So Portland State University, obviously we're here. They're sponsoring this by giving us these wonderful facilities. Um, as someone who's run conferences, finding facilities can be very expensive and very complicated. So thank you to PSU for this. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that. Massey, Massey? is it Massey? Anybody from PSU here? Yeah, Massey, okay, Massey College of Engineering and Computer Science, and then the Data Lab. Um, it's, uh, you know, these, these facilities are hard to come by, so it's, thank you very much for that. Refreshments, all right, we've got a couple companies here. Second Quadrant, they're really good at pretending to be command prompt. Um, no, I'm kidding. Second Quadrant's actually very, very cool. Right now, um, you know, obviously this is just an opinion, but I kind of think that they're doing some of the coolest stuff in Postgres space right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the bi-directional replication that they have going on, the uh, Barman, which is you know backups and archive recovery, uh, their replication manager, they're doing some really, really cool stuff. They're mostly based in Europe. You don't really see them over here all that often, um, but I, if you're looking for interesting things that they're doing, almost everything they do is open source. Uh, their barman is the BDR, which is bi-directional replication. That's open source. Um, I should probably not tap that like that. Um, so they're doing very, very cool stuff, and it's great that they were willing to sponsor this. iOvation, I looked them up last night. They're doing like data identification. Is iOvation here? Oh, tell us what you do. Well, I know, and you, I'm aware because I've had you speak at conferences. No, uh, Iovation does online fraud prevention. Online fraud pre prevention. And then PGX, PostgreSQL experts, Josh is here. Uh, you, you're doing a lot of Python and Postgres now, right? Yep. Yeah, uh, a lot of Python. Django or just? Uh, Django, Flask, uh, various PyData stuff. Cool. Um, and they're based currently in California, but I just learned that that base is probably going to move here. Oh, we'll still have four people in California. Oh, okay. Well, good. Um, so those are our sponsors. Uh, thank you very much for that. It's, it's awesome when we can get people to sponsor these events. 
it's sometimes easier to get him to sponsor the bigger events, but bringing together the community at any local event is very good, and it makes it easier on the pug. Let's talk about our schedule. We got 9.30. This is me, the intro, Joshua, liaison Drake. When I say liaison, it's because my position with .org is I am the software and public interest liaison, which means that I work with .org and SPI to determine what .org is going to fund. Uh, .org has a tendency to fund speakers to go to conferences. Uh, we do some uh, Google Summer of Code stuff, things like that. Uh, at 10 o'clock, we've got David PGXN Wheeler. Is there anybody here that doesn't know what PGXN is? Wow, you, your advocacy efforts are slipping. Okay, PGXN, I'm not online, otherwise I'd show you. PGXN is the PostgreSQL Extension Network. Anyone here not know what CPAN is? Okay. PyPy. Uh, what, what does Ruby use? I don't, anybody still use Ruby? Gems. 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 Yeah. Uh, okay, so PostgreSQL Extension Network is, it's, it's the ability when you're running Postgres, it's got a client called PG, PGXN Client, you can install extensions to Postgres. Okay, so uh, if you want to do PG Repack, for example, which allows you to do online reorganization of tables to reduce bloat, that's an extension that you can just install live uh, with PostgreSQL using PGXN. And Dave Wheeler in the back there is, is the primary developer and maintainer of that. Uh, he's doing HStore, XML, JSON, JSONB, oh my. Basically, he's telling you all the reasons why you really don't need to use Mongo or any of that because Postgres already has all the cool stuff. Um, at 11, we got snapshotted data versioning with Eric Hansen. Where's Eric? Eric? Uh, we have a 90-minute launch. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, there are, if you're not from the area, uh, there are food carts. Obviously, you saw right across. There are restaurants everywhere around here within like a four-block radius. I got a map here on the next slide for you. At 1.30, we've got data near here. It's a reprise. Implementing a data search engine in PostgreSQL. Is Veronica around? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. Uh, that is actually gonna, probably going to be pretty interesting because, do you know if she uses PostGIS? Post awesome. Uh, is Kristen here? Kristen? Uh, Kristen's not here yet. Either. Okay, so we have another one called Portal. Do you want to tell what's Portal about? Um, Portal is the uh, official archive of the Oregon Department of Transportation where they collect the uh, statistics on the highway traffic data. TriMed, the local um, mass transit authority, also provides some data. And so they do a lot of analysis with that. Awesome. And then. My favorite, uh, actually, Josh, I was actually disappointed to see that you didn't look up Google, their, their uh, cloud stuff with this. But uh, You know, I only have an hour. But <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So we got Heroku versus ET, EC2 versus RDS. This is probably going to be uh, a great talk because not only is Josh a great presenter, but as another professional services provider for Postgres, I am constantly running into this problem of people that come to me and say, well, we're doing this. I'm not going to name any of the cloud providers um, because they're all right there. But you know, we're doing this with this. How can we make it faster? And then I have to explain, well, by moving off of it. Um, but there are ways, <laughs> especially now that they've, been, they've done a lot of changes. And that'll be a great talk. And then we have lightning talks. Did you get more lightning talks? Uh, not yet. OK, so we need lightning talks. Uh, please, they're five, if you don't know what a lightning talk is, basically you get five minutes. You get to come up and talk about anything for five minutes, and then we throw stuff at you if you go over. Uh, the soft things. Um, or we gong you or something like that. It's, it's, are we going to throw the elephants? Okay, we'll throw an elephant at you. Um, so uh, th they're a lot of fun because you're under this very constrained and your tr uh, time limit, and you're trying to get a lot of information out. Um, so Dave, you've got to do one. David. David, sorry. Sorry, sweetie. Um, David. Um, David is, if you've never seen David talk, he's, one, he's, he's a great speaker, and he tends to throw expletives more than I do, um, which is, uh, can be entertaining. Uh, but yes, David, David, you must do one. Uh, Josh, you must do one. Um, we'll get some great lightning talks going. Um, and then our food map, 
here's our food map. You are here, as you can see, and we've got all kinds of stuff right here. We've we're got actually in the building right under that. Building. We're in the bot building right under it. The one that says five thousand on. Okay. Well, they're attached. Underground. Okay. Underground. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So apparently, this is the courtyard. Down. This is the courtyard. Yeah, that's where we're. At. Okay. So we're here. Just pretend that that moved over here. Um, but. I think the map still displays where the food is in the right place, right? Okay. Um, so we have Thai pasta. We got new taste of India. I mean, there's just the food everywhere. And there's also there's also the, the farmers market is about three blocks away. Where's the farmers market? It's right around the South Park blocks. So oh, South so Park blocks. It's really three or four blocks away. Okay, so South Park blocks are going to be right up over here, and then down a few blocks. Well, once you find the park blocks, you can find the farmers market. Yeah, I mean, I doubt you can miss it once you're in the park blocks. Um, so, there we go. Do you have any questions? Yes? Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I just realized that can be, I was going to ask about the wireless, but it's there. Oh, there, PSU the gas. Okay. Uh, anything else? Great. Well, let's have a great day. We're all done.